I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand a very important substitution which can be utilized to find integrals of functions involving sine and cosine. If t is equals to tan x pi 2 and x is between minus pi to plus pi, show that cos x is equals to 1 minus t square over 1 plus t square and sin x is equals to 2t over 1 plus t square. Right? So that's the question for you. Now, when we say t is tan x by 2, let me write this as tan x by 2 is equals to t. Now, what does that mean? It really means that if I have a right triangle, right? If I have a right triangle, let us say, let me make one here. And the angle is x by 2. Let's say this angle here is x by 2. And when we say tan x by 2 is t, it really means that the ratio of these two sides, opposite and adjacent, is t, right? In that case, what is going to be the hypotenuse? It will be square root of t square plus 1, correct? That is going to be the hypotenuse when we know this is a right triangle, Pythagorean theorem. Now, once we know that, we can write what is cos x by 2. So, we say cos x by 2 is equals to adjacent side over hypotenuse, 1 over square root of t square plus 1. And we can say sin x by 2 is equals to opposite over that. So, it is t over square root of t square plus 1, right? So, we directly get the value of cos and sin x by 2 from this substitution. Now, the idea is to get the value of cos x. Now, cos x is 2 times this, right? So, we could think like this. Cos x is equals to cos of 2 times x by 2, right? So, th that is the cos 2x formula, which could be written as 2 cos square x by 2 minus 1. Is it okay? So, that is a standard formula which you can use. We already know what is cos x by 2, which is right there. So, we could use this one. So, we can write this as 2 times cos x by 2 is 1 over square root of t square plus 1, right? That whole square. So, cos 2 times this thing's whole square. So, we'll just square this up, right? minus 1. Do you see that? So, which you could write as, now this square root will vanish, so we have 2 over t square plus 1 minus 1 and you can simplify this. So, taking it there, we have a common denominator of t square plus 1 and once you take this there, you get 2 minus t square minus 1. 2 minus 1 is 1, so we get 1 minus t square divided by 1 plus t square. So, I am writing in the same form. So, we have derived the first expression, right? Similarly, we can do the next one, which is sin x. Now, you could either use uh, 1 minus 2 cos this one also, or you can also use 2 times sin x by 2 times cos x by 2 formula, right? So, 2 times sin x by 2 is right there t over square root of t square plus 1 and cos x by 2 is 1 over square root of t square plus 1. And when you multiply these, you get 2t, right, on the top, which is expected and the denominator is t square plus 1, correct? Okay? And that gives you the formula which is required, right? So, these are the two standard formulas which we have derived in this particular video and we are going to use this in trigonometric substitution uh, in a large extent. So, we will take a few examples based on this. I am Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. You can always share and subscribe my videos and if you like, you can put some likes. Thank you and all the best.